kiddos, it's time for our second cursive letter practice lesson. Today, we're going to be learning how to write the cursive letter O. We're not going in alphabetical order because O is a lot like A. So we're going to go to the letter O and build on what we learned in lesson one. So on your whiteboards, I encourage you to do some practicing first. The letter O, the small letter O starts just like the letter A, but instead of having a monkey tail, it has a swoop. And again, it's a little slanty, so it may help if you tip or slant your paper. And that's how you make a letter O. It just has a little curly Q swirl at the top. The capital letter O, you might have guessed, it's just like the small letter, but taller. Now, one way that the capital letter O is different from the small, from the letter A, is that the capital letter O does not connect when we write words. So let's go ahead and turn in your cursive practice books to the letter O. Again, your book is alphabetical, so you're gonna have to flip several pages back to get to the letter O. Starting with the capital letter O, and really paying attention to our arrows here, you can see that we're going to start here at the top of the headline, Travel around and curly cue. Down and around curly cue. Down and around curly cue. It's kind of fun. Down and around. Okay, I'm looking to see which is my best one. I have several that I feel pretty good about. I kind of like this one because I really filled the headline and the foot line really well. All right, now let's go ahead and practice our lowercase o's. They're exactly the same, but shorter. Down and around and curly Q. Down and around and curly Q. Down and around and curly Q. Okay, boy, I really like the looks of that one. How about you? What's your favorite that you did? Now it's time to practice some words. Starting with the word owl. Owl has that W in it, which you may remember from last time, is three lines. So you start at the top for the O. Down and around and curly Q, which just takes us right back up to the belt line for the first line of the W. Then down and up, down and up. I hope you're doing this with me. Oh look, there's a curly Q on the end of the O. I do like me a good curly Q. <laughs> and then up for the L. Let's do it again. And one more time. Now let's practice the word onion. Down and around and curly Q. N has two humps, the hump that connects it to the O and its own. Keep going, 
up, I is up and down. Then look at how the O connects in the middle of a word. You go over, and then there's that garbage truck. It's going to back up, beep, 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 and go right over the same line again. When you get to the end of the word, go back and dot your I. One more time. Finally, time for a sentence. The octopus is orange. Mm. A capital T is a very fancy capital letter. You do pick up your pencil in the middle of it, and it does not connect to the next letter. So start at the top and go down. We'll work on T more later. So for now, just do the best that you can. I'm saying that looks a little bit like a pirate hat on the top of that T. Here's the H. Up to the head and down to the foot, back to the belt. And there's your E. That is the word the. Here's octopus. Down and around and curly Q. Notice the C backs up like a tray, like a garbage truck. Beep, beep, beep. Up and down for the T. Here's that O again in the middle. Back up like the garbage truck. Beep, 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 beep. And there's your curly Q. Now remember, the P swoops down, and kids always think you're going to go forward with the loop, but you go back towards the beginning of the word. So that's a tricky, tricky piece, to loop that back towards the beginning of the word octopus. get to the end of a word, look back and say, do I have anything? Oh yes, I've got to cross my T. Here's the I. This is the letter S. This word is is. Don't forget to dot your I. Here is your O. Down and around and curly Q. Here's the R. A, that's our friend from the other day. Back up like a garbage truck. Beep, 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 beep. And a G is a lot like an A. You've got to back up like a garbage truck. Beep, beep, beep. Then up, down, and it loops back towards the beginning of the word. And a period. All right, I'm going to make up my own sentence. You can write my sentence or your own. The first word I'm going to write is only, so we can get a capital let O practice. Down and around, and curly Q. Only, orange, O, and we already know how to write O because orange because we just did. Only oranges please. Only oranges please. I forgot my curly cue on my feet. Sometimes when you get going and get going on your cursive, you do leave off a little curly cue here or there. And that's part of the fun, because as you get really good, you'll make cursive your own. So keep practicing. Those connections will come if you just keep working at it. Slow and steady, and pretty soon you'll have beautiful cursive penmanship.